it's really about finding ways to give back to kids and motivate them to say, and their parents also, to say, hey, listen, there is a brighter future. There's a need to motivate. There's a need to inspire others. There's a need to give back. You talked about drugs, you talked about violence and all these other things. We definitely need to address those concerns. I feel like the microcosm of addressing those concerns, they start here. They start with the encouragement. Yes. They start with the love, the support. Once you get beyond that, then you're able to go ahead and say, okay, we're gonna improve crime rates. Homicide rates will drop. Burglary rates will drop. And we start giving more support. You start changing households. You start educating communities. You start improving communities and uplifting people. And that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. What's going on, everybody? It's your main man, Proofing the Play. I'm in Spokane right now, Northern Crest Casino. We're about to go to the Paul's Bowl golf course. Uh, they're about to have a dinner right there and have a couple of speeches. About to see what's going on in there and see who's there try to get some interviews with some people uh, and really talk about and dive in, rise above, and the prevention of, you know, uh, starting the prevention early so we won't have, they can make better choices when they get older. And first hearing Jackie and Brad's vision for Rise Above, I thought it was an excellent idea to encourage and uplift these kids to make better decisions when they get older. Ah, uh, but man, I did not know all these heavy hitters was in here. Danny Glover. Dead left shrimp. I'm talking to everybody was in the building, all in support of Rise Above, supporting something that's greater than just themselves. We're out here in Calvo Country Club, the golf course. I got legends right in front of me. I'm talking about Lenny Wilkins, only NBA championship we have. Okay, Lenny Wilkins helped bring that here to Seattle. Young people are our future. They're tomorrow's doctors, lawyers, athletes, politicians. They're our future. And they have to know that they do and can make a difference. So I've, you know, I've had an opportunity to see that. Uh, it's, it's been things that happened in my life too that let me know that, yeah, you can make a difference, you know? And so uh, seeing how Jackie and uh, Brad brought together Rise Above, how it's grown, how it's affecting the lives of young people. Uh, it's inspiring. I wrote a book, The Seven Seas of Leadership, and one of the C's in the book is community. And that's what sports, that's what life is supposed to be all about. And that is we're all, in, we're all on the same team. We're all the same, we're from the same creator. We're one nation, we're supposed to be, one blood. You know, we're all, we're all related, whether we like it or not. So you gotta be part of that. You gotta try to be an effective part of that community. The thing about being an athlete, being a young person, you know, cause I had a brother who, who was two years older than me and he and I would just uh, compete against each other. So, you know, when you're two years older, it, can, it makes quite a bit of difference cause he was, he was a very good player, and so he taught me toughness. He taught me to focus more on my game, being the best that I can be, and in that way, the better I get, the more I practice, finally discovered practice is very important. Little girls come up to me and tell me that I'm like their inspiration to start playing volleyball, and it's like, I never thought I'd be here, but it's making a huge impact on all of our youth. I did volleyball today. It was very fun. Um, I got to learn some new tricks. I know I learned how to spike. Um, I also did something very hard. And so I would give the teacher the ball and then I would jump super high and go like, Ugh! Oh. all over the net. It was very hard. I made a new friend. And what's her name? I don't know. You don't know? You got to go downstairs and find <laughs> out now, right? Yeah. The characters are to learn, listen, love, aspire to that kind of things that adults are doing. But remember, it's only a matter of time before they will be running the country and the world and making it a better place. Rewriting the constitution of this country because the constitution we have isn't worth two cents. 
I tell ki young, young kids all the time, young people all the time, you know, to follow your dream. Don't get discouraged over your dream. Your dream doesn't happen in one night. The world wasn't built in one day either. Um, you know, you're gonna have ups and downs, but follow your dreams. Your dreams will drive you and lead you to the promised land. Felt good to give back. You know, I just recently moved back home to Washington and I knew I wanted to give back to the kids in the community that I was uh, close to. And yeah, I'm looking to expand more Spokane area and all across Washington, so. That just shows who we are. You know, we're really humble people, but we also, you know, stick to our traditions and our cultural teachings from our ancestors and our grandmothers before us. And then we also, you know, try to give back to the generations after us, so. I'm so proud to be here with this community today. It's a community of love. It's a community that tries to find in every ways how we can tell the truth. And the truth is, is so valuable for not only those whose stories that we embrace from the past, but those stories that we are to embrace from in the future as well. And the opportunity to be here, to learn, to grow, and to be in part of an extraordinary journey, as you say, because films are making, about making a journey, finding out what we don't know, celebrating what we do know, and finding other ways to find different ways to know more. Rise Above helps Native kids change the narrative that many of us were born into. Native youth have been hearing the same story about themselves for a very long time. We're expected to reinforce statistics and stereotypes that were placed long before the kids of, some of the kids were born. Native kids' high school completion and college attendance are low, and none of these numbers have improved for years. That's a story that Native kids already know, and that we need to change that in their minds and in their lives. We're expected to survive, not thrive. We're expected to understand, but not be smart. We're expected to be talented, but not enough to leave the reservation. We're expected to drop out of high school, and maybe a handful of us will attend college. We aren't always told that we're smart, we're capable, and we aren't given spaces to dream big dreams. We're changing the narrative by giving our kids the skills and education to write their own stories and pursue their dreams. We will see change when we begin investing in our youth. Native kids can and do overcome these barriers when they have the education and support from a community that cares about their success. It's easy to focus on the hard things. Rise Above was founded to be part of changing this narrative today, providing hope today, and creating change today. I know it's not easy to break barriers, but I also know it's possible. You know, for us, it's really partnerships. We're connectors. We, we, there's no egos that rise above. So when you come a, as a partner and as, you know, a community member, a parent, whatever that is, there's no egos here. And to be able to come in and work with us and work with the kids, it's amazing. So reaching out to us on email, social media. But I think right now what we, we all can do it's just be better humans, right? Treat each other with respect. And that's where it starts is, you know, having love and having empathy for those that are around us and in our communities today.